And now it's time for a Golden Gate Lotus Club classic film review. Tonight, we will be discussing the early 90s thriller Basic Instinct. This film is about a young female writer living in our own Bay Area with her two Lotus Esprit Turbos, one white, the other black. These are the later four-cylinder turbo models styled by Peter Stevens as opposed to the earlier Italian folded paper design. And the film makes good use of the GGLC stomping ground, being driven past by one or the other Esprits. Now, as you may have heard, this film does contain some scenes, graphic in nature, that aren't appropriate for all audiences. Spoiler alert aside, I think it's important to warn audiences they will witness one of the Esprits falling from a considerable height onto its nose and landing on its roof. This is not for the squeamish. That said, it is remarkable how well the fiberglass body handles the crash. I say handles rather than survives as the car doesn't survive. And in that we have the film's great tragedy. But thankfully, the basic instinct which the film draws its title from can be found in the lead character's motivation to cease driving her damaged black esprit and continue to drive her fully functional white esprit bringing us to the moral of the film, always own two esprits. Thank you for joining us for this review, and for a hit of next week's review, we'll be discussing why Porsche turned down the opportunity to feature one of their cars in a hit movie because it didn't want to be associated with women of the night.